Hi guys, wanted to show you how to install and a basic tutorial on how to use Civ Utils. Civ Utils is, let's see, the best explanation is here, an interface to the SMB Civs protocol and it provides support for cross-platform file sharing with Microsoft Windows. OS X and other Unix systems. So, it's an interface to SMB or Samba or SIFS servers and uh, this is the command line interface so let's install it. Let's go to sudo i since this is a Xubuntu system works for Lubuntu like this, Ubuntu and other derived distributions. Now up gets clean update updates to get the latest package description lists from the repositories up get clean again to remove any unwanted files up get install sifts utils and let's see how it installs well that's very nice now there's also a different package SMB something something this is the basic one we're installing and the basic one you need to be able to mount shared network drives on Windows servers or clients. Well, you get the point. I'll get clean. And we're back again. Now, first of all, you need to make a mount point. That's very important, especially when you're mounting from the command line. It needs to, uh, the share you're trying to mount needs to hook into the file system. Now the normal place you do that is in CD mount. Then as you can see there are no directories which the mounting command can use. Now let's make a directory. Let's call it some share just for ease of use. Then type in mount dot sifs then type in the host name of some server you can use like some domain dot something you get the point then like this and then the share name so some share and now where we uh, do we want to mount it mnt some share now the funny part starts. Dash O means options that this mounting command can use. Well, let's say you have a special username on the server, share you're trying to mount, then type in username is my special username. Well, not this but the username you truly have on that share. Now, a comma opens up the option of another option. That's nice. Okay, IP is, let's say for instance, some server is the name of the server, but you can't resolve to it, or you're not all that sure that um, the resolution of the translation of this name into a proper IP goes well. Well, then you can do IP is, and let's say it's on 10.168.1.10. Let's say this is the server. Then basically, this mounting command will put this IP address over here. That's a bit superfluous, but still, it's a handy tool to have. Now, normally, if I press enter, with a proper server name, with a proper share, well, the mount point we made, so that's proper, but with a proper username and a proper IP, 
I get uh, asked for a password. But basically, because I don't want to show any um, characteristics of my network, you'll have to trust me on this. This works. Uh, normally, I keep this within my history, like uh, this. I just have to scroll back a bit. But the funny thing, this package, mount.sifs, or to be very specific, that sifs util package makes it possible to automatically mount shares via the f stop file. Now that's something you'll have to find out for yourself what that is, but that makes auto mounting file systems on Windows shares or SMB enabled shares at least possible at boot time. So, once again, just as a little hint, here you go. And I hope this video was helpful. I hope you like it. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.